Today, we are talking about 5G private networks and why they are important to operators and customers. To explore this topic further, which is obviously grabbing lots of industry attention, I'm pleased to welcome three experts in the field. First, we have Jason Tu, who is principal scientist of NFE and SDM products at ZTE. And also from ZTE, we have Emmanuel Delagarde, who is group CTO expert. And also we have Pablo Tomasi, a principal analyst at Omdia, a consultancy and a sister company to Light Reading. Pablo leads Omdia's research on LTE and 5G private networks. So perhaps, Jason, I could start with you first. Now, 5G private networks, it looks like a great opportunity for operators to generate new revenue streams if they can provide those guaranteed levels of performance. What are the difficulties, main difficulties for operators in making sure these networks meet customer expectations? Okay, well, so as we can see, there are huge requirements of the vertical industry to make a digitalization. And those kind of digital, digitalization need 5G connections. But the requirements are quite different. For example, for the autonomous drive, driving cars, AGVs, they need low latency connection. But for the camera on the drones, they need bandwidth. For the IoTs, they don't need bandwidth. They don't need the latency but they need economy connections because there are so many. So as for the vertical industry requirements, we can see there are completely different network connection requirements. So that's a great challenge for the operator because we understand on the existing network, they are pro providing a public network. It's almost the same to everyone. So what ZT can do is that we are providing what we call all scenario private 5G solution to the operator and help the operator basing on their existing public 5G network to providing different SRA guaranteed private 5G network to the vertical industry. And of course, by using the all scenario private 5G solution, operator can providing what we call private 5G as a service to vertical industry and help them to make the digitalization smoothly. Yes. Yes, I mean, this, yeah, this idea of being able to deploy uh, networks, 5G networks, and satisfy different performance requirements in an easy way for operators is fundamental in making this a business case, isn't it? Yes. So we understand for most of the tra uh, traditionally vertical industry, they do not have enough technology, knowledge about what is 5G, what is connections. So it will be difficult for them to build their private 5G for their own and maintain it. And also expensive for, uh, to have a private 5G for those SMEs. So if the operator providing a private 5G as a service, that will greatly purchase the private 5G uh, deploy to all this vertical industry. And ZTE, together with our partner, we are introduced what we call a network slicing store to the operator and help the vertical industry to go to the store and purchase what they need private 5G service for their own and make all things very easier. And they just like, uh, just like your smartphone to go to the store select your just the right templates and purchase it. And so you can soon enjoy your network connection. So that is a very good news, not only for the vertical industry, but also for the operator, because that were greatly uh, pushing the monetize of the 5G assets. I mean, as you've indicated, it's not all theoretical. You're actually doing this on the ground. And uh, maybe you can tell us a little bit more about uh, deployment that you have in partnership with China Mobile, Mobile, a smart factory in the city of Yunnan, I believe. What challenges have you had to overcome there and what lessons have you learned? 
actually, we has already deployed this kind of all scenario private 5G solution in China Mobile Yunnan Permanency. And the Yunnan Permanency of China Mobile has already launched the private 5G as a service to vertical industry. There is a traditionally uh, factory, aluminum uh, factory in Yunnan. You know, this aluminum factory is a traditional factory. They are very hot, danger, and pollution. And by introduce private 5G, they are introduced a lot of high definition camera for surveillance, AGVs to go throughout product lines and a lot of sensors and IoT uh, terminals. So that workers do not working in the hard condition, but, but in the air condition office, sorry. So in this way, the same factory with the same scale used to be employ 8,000 workers. But now with the 5G digitalization, only 2,000 workers are need to employ it in this factory. So, so you can see the factory, not only uh, save a lot of investment on the human resource, but also the existing 2,000 workers can enjoy better working conditions. Okay, well, that's, uh, that sounds a, a fascinating case study. Uh, and, and Emmanuel, I believe ZTE is doing a, a, um, a private 5G network deployment in Belgium. Uh, perhaps you can explain a little bit about what's going on there and the lessons you've learned. Yes, indeed. Yes, you're right. There's some very tremendous experience in Europe, and especially in Belgium. So from initially launched by a tender from the Belgian government about the Antwerp uh, Arbor area, which is one of the big industrial places in Belgium. Uh, they launched a deal with uh, Zeti and Orange Belgium to create in one big part of the Arbor a new area fully connected in 5G. So we deploy a full 5G SA. It's very important because that provides locally all the service of the 5G, including the network slicing in this area. So radio transmission, core network, interconnection, everything from ZTE. And as Mr. Tu uh, precise to you, we pick from our portfolio vertical scenario. For example, the example of Yunnan with some high definition camera who can detect some defect or things like that. So for example, one of the companies settled in this area of the arbors using to detect pollution or defect. In fact, we have five different uh, big companies in this area who are using those portfolio of uh, scenario. You have BASF, you know, the big chemical company, who are using that in special communication in uh, safety and barrier, high reliability mode, all the communication between all the workers in the area. We have for the port of Anvers something more interesting, which is the, the, the way that every boat I have to be guided and, and steer inside the area because it's a big, uh, big tanker, big uh, or big cargo. So they used to be guided by tugboat. So now, in the past, tugboat have only voice with radio command. Now each tugboat is equipped with high definition 360 video camera who capture all the surrounding of the cargo. And from the control plane of the, uh, the arbor, and also for each captain in each tugboat, they can see everything around the cargo to avoid any crash. And the future is exactly as the same case that we have described in Yunnan and also Bichan in, in, in China. But here is not with um, automatic um, autonomous vehicle, but the future is to control and remote control like a drone, those kind of tugboat inside the area from a central point of control of the arbor. So you see, it's exactly the, the, what Mr. Chu described. We have with Orange create a, an area which is fully 5G SA. So we have all the benefit of the 5G. And inside the area, we recruit some big company settle in the area, and we propose uh, to pick in the catalog of vertical solution what they want to use. And of course, right now we have a list of I think seven different kind of use case isolated and secured by each layer of uh, the slice. And you know, Orange is now developing this kind of business in this area in 5G AC. 
So it's for, for sure the first step because the 5G SA is not country-wide right now in Europe. But with the solution, with the T of the private network, they create some really good illustration of what could be the private network as a service for a certain industry. Thank you very much for that detail. And um, Pablo, if, if I could turn to you, uh, this idea of making life easier for operators in deploying 5G private networks across multiple use cases and making it ease of use for the end customer as well is key for making this market take off, isn't it? Uh, I can. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, from, from an analyst pr perspective, it, it's clear that there are some challenges in this market, and one of these is, is cost, and one of these is complexity. And what you want to do from uh, a solution perspective is to tackle those challenges. Now, we already seen in, in our survey, for instance, that run with enterprise, how cost is one of the key challenges that enterprises are facing while deploying private networks. And when you're delivering private networks as a service, you're taking that burden away from the enterprise. So you're now enterprise of any size and of any <clears throat> IT technical capabilities to uh, uh, use private 5G networks to leverage the benefits of private 5G networks. And this is something extremely important because it brings that solution to virtually every vertical, uh, to virtually every enterprise segment. And at the same time, complexity is also something that is quite present in the market. And uh, 5G is a complex technology, if you're thinking about spectrum, if you think about run, core, different services, and different use cases. And uh, by providing private networks via an operator, the enterprise can count on an expert that lives and breathes 5G and that can help them to deliver the benefits of private 5G. And at the same time, while doing that, the enterprise can focus on its core business. So can have every single resource at hand to focus on their, their core business, whether it's like manufacturing or whether it's mining. Yeah. and. So looking at the 5G opportunity for operators in the enterprise space, will it be fair to say, Pablo, that it offers a real potential for operators to play perhaps not only a more prominent role when engaging with enterprise customers, but a more profitable one if they can get that cost base down? I, I agree with you 100%. And, and maybe let me take a, a very short step back. When we're looking at 5G, <clears throat> we're looking about the investment that have been made by operators, and, and we, we look at how the, the industry sees the opportunity for 5G. There is a consensus that the consumer market on its own is not going to be able to really drive the revenue acceleration. So when we understand that, then the, the next obvious question is like where that, that revenue boost should come. And, and there is, again, a consensus. It's going to be in the enterprise space. It's going to be in a vertical market. That's why it's important for, for operators to start looking at, at those vertical markets and to have that B2B strategy in place, which in my view has to start with a private networks. By providing that portfolio of offering private networks that can have the fully dedicated hybrid or virtual private networks, leveraging network slicing, leveraging existing assets that the operator has, uh, private networks become a key solution for the operators because they can meet all the diverse needs of the enterprise. So they are able to meet what the enterprise wants. It's a solution that uh, becomes very adaptable if the enterprise wants specific latency, wants specific coverage, uh, has any particular requirements in terms of uh, data and security. A private network's portfolio enables the operator to deliver on those requirements. And that effectively makes private networks a key pillar for enterprise utilization and for the wider industry for the whole trend in my view. Thanks for that, Pablo. Yeah, private networks are key, it seems. Jason, um, I'll just turn to you about business models in the future. How will they develop? Um, already we've seen great progress, but you anticipate that there's even more good things to come. Yes, so we can see that 5G has already deployed in East Asia, Europe, and America. But we can see the existing business model that is selling traffic to retail consumer cannot support the developing of the 5G. It cannot. The IOR return of investment is not good. Not a days, not only in most of the country. 
But the good news is that 5G is a wonderful technology to connect things. And according to our understanding, in the next 10 years, the numbers of the IoT term terminal globally will soon exceed the population of the whole world. That is, we are going to have a lot of things terminal which are going to connect by network. And of course, we cannot using the same business model, I mean, selling the traffic, talking time to these IoT terminals. As we just are talking about, maybe we can set up a new business model with what we call the B2B is uh, operator selling private 5G service to vertical industry. Of course, we need to match all the scenario of the vertical industry, no matter what it is. So I believe this kind of business model will greatly help the op operator to selling their 5G access in the coming of three or five years. Well, thank you very much for that. It seems from all three of you that um, 5G private networks are essential to get that ROI um, that oper operators desperately want. So thank you very much for all three of you. It's been a pleasure speaking to you. Thank you very much. Thank you.